Hello everyone. Today we are going to start a series on a Python. So getting started with Python using Databricks. So first step is to click on Internet Explorer or Google Chrome and open a website community.cloud.databricks.com and if you are a new user you can click on sign up or if you have you are an existing user you can directly sign in so based on your user id credential that is email id and password you can log in into databricks so we are going to use databricks as a platform for learning python so once you log in into databricks you can you will see a screen something like this then we need to go to compute click on compute here we are going to create a cluster so click on create compute we will write cluster name as spark cluster practice spark cluster anything as you wish but give a name which can be recognized that this is your cluster so i am creating spark cluster you can keep databricks runtime version default that's all we are getting free 15 gb memory so it is better to practice in databricks environment so i will click on create cluster so here you can see spark cluster will be spinning on so if i click on compute i will see spark cluster it's still setting up once the setting is done cluster will be up and running so this is the way we create a spark cluster by the time spark cluster is getting created click on the home screen click on notebook create a notebook i will write getting started with python we will select default languages python and the spark cluster which we have created so here if we go to views you can change the theme to light theme or you can use dark theme so as of now let's select theme as light theme so this is the way we create a notebook so here you can see spark cluster is up and running if i click on compute you can see a tick mark which indicates cluster is running up and running and if i click on dashboard i will get my recent notebook name so i will again click on getting started with python so this is how we here we are attaching the notebook to the spark cluster So this is how we get started with Databricks. Python is a high level general purpose programming language. Python is dynamically typed. It supports multiple programming paradigm including structure, partially procedural, object oriented and functional programming. Python consistently rank as one of the most popular programming language that's the purpose we are learning python using databricks as you can see on the screen i have written some code so let's discuss it one by one so the first step we are writing for percentage python which indicates it's a magical keyword for databricks to understand the code which is written is python so i have written 6 into 6 and i will click on 
runs it. So it will give us the output. If I want to insert a new command, a new cell, I will again write percentage python 5 into 4. Again I will click on run cell. It will give 20. If I press control enter, shift enter, it will also execute or run cell. So here you can see I have written python 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. So we will get the result. This is the basic operation which I am going to show you in python. Later on in the course we will discuss about variables and how to initialize it. So here you can see python we are using a variable result and storing the result of 6 into 6 into a variable named result and printing the content. Print function will print the value of the variable. So here if I press shift enter it is going to execute. Here result is 36. Result equal to result minus 30. So here the result value is already stored into python memory. So here the memory value of result is 36 minus 30 which will result into 6. So if I execute this cell I will get 30 as the result. Hey, sorry 6 as the result because 36 minus 30 which is 6. So if I run this command result equal to here we are working with integer variables. Now we are adding string to it. So python is dynamically scripted. So here we are trying to insert string value into a variable named result. So Christmas is on 25th December. So if I type I have written it in quotes which indicates string. I have given a number and December and we are trying to print the result. So here you can see I am getting an error stating or can only concat string not integer to string. So since result is an integer and we are trying to concat string. So for that we will use str function that will convert this 25 integer value into string and the string will be stored string data type will be stored in the variable result. So here result equal to Christmas is on string 25 December. So it will print the result Christmas is on 25th December. So this is the way how we operate Databricks community edition. So this is how we work with Databricks. So that's all for this lecture. See you in the next video.